Okay, it's a good idea to erase the human figure by using the eraser. Okay, I want you to, I want you to see your drawing from the top by pressing this view button and then press the center icon and close it back. Press the rectangle button, press the first rectangle and bring your cursor to the center. And then you just click once, move your mouse up until you can see the outline, the square outline. After this, don't touch or move the mouse. You, have, you only have to press 150, 50 on the keyboard. And then only then you click once on the mouse. Okay, at first it may seem small, but actually you can zoom in by turning the center mouse wheel to zoom. Okay, don't worry if it's small at first. You can always zoom in. And then how to measure the, the box you just created, the square you just created. You can, you can use the measuring tools and click once until you can see the end point. Okay, drag your mouse until the next end point. Click once again, move up, click once, and you can see that the measurement is 150 millimeters for the length, and you can repeat it at the side to measure the width. Okay, the width is 50 millimeters. Okay, let's learn. Do you know what is the 150, 50 that you just typed? It's actually the length and the width in millimeters. Okay, 150 is the length, and then you must follow that thing with a comma, and then you type in 50 for the width. Okay, you can use any other measurement that you like in accordance to the size of your square. The only thing is, it must be separated by a comma. Okay. How to zoom in and out? You have to turn the center wheels of the mouse. Turn it up to zoom in and turn it down to zoom out. Okay, how to orbit? You have to press the center mouse wheel. Do you know that you can actually press on the center mouse wheel? You can hear, you can actually hear a click when you press the center mouse wheel. Okay. Click and hold the center mouse wheel and move the mouse around in order for you to orbit your drawings. Okay, orbiting is actually turning around in three dimension the object of your choice. Okay, how to pen? Pen is actually moving your object to the left, right, up and down without rotating the object. Okay, I want you to press the center mouse wheel, click it without letting it go. You click and hold and at the same time, you have to press the shift button. Click and hold the shift button and while doing that, you have to, you can now, you can move your mouse around. Okay, make sure you hold, click and hold the center mouse wheel and the shift button simultaneously without letting it go. Okay, how to view your object from the top? You can press this view button and you can press the center button to view it from the top. You can view from other angles by choosing the other view button. Tips on drawing square 
or object. If you look into the circle, you can see here the square is going to be drawn from the edge. Okay, please press control. When you press the control key, the square will be drawn from the center. And then press control key again. Suddenly, you will be back to square one, where your square will be drawn from the edge. Okay, how to undo in SketchUp? There are two ways. First is press Control key and the Z key at the same time, simultaneously. Or you can use the undo and redo arrow at the bottom left hand corner of your SketchUp. Okay, now can you please press Control and Z key at the same time? Here you are. You are undoing one step to the back. You can press Control plus Z button again to undo many steps to the back. How to erase certain part only? Okay. I want you to press the eraser tool here. And then I want you to bring the eraser to one edge of this square. For example, the top one. Press the left mouse button. Here you are, only the top edge is erased. Thank you very much. See you again.